Hey guys, welcome back to War Hospital. Yeah, Hope you're having a great day today. Pick up kind of where we left off a little bit later. We got our, our doctors resting over here and uh, two new patients just came in. They're not that energy intensive. So uh, I think this uh, probably be okay. They're both in pretty good condition, but this guy's a high rank. So it's not all that much energy, sir. I think you can go ahead and get that going. Uh, and I'm actually going to take you off of that rest and put you here instead. And then you can take this guy instead. Yeah, uh, I think... Shit. We are looking pretty stable, but there's a couple of things that I've been, you know, looking at that I think we can do better on. Uh, one of these things is our number, our number of food rations has been steadily falling this entire time. And food rations are really important because if people don't get fed, I think their morale probably takes a pretty good hit, right? So we're going to want to do something about that. And that means we're going to need more engineers too. I wonder if I can hire another engineer it's gonna take two uh, okay can't do that then so i'll have to make do with the engineering resources that we have uh, currently i've got two in the pharmacy and then one in engineering building my enhancements and stuff and that's been pretty good uh i think though that the engineering depot enhancement is going to be a really good thing to invest in since it's going to save us time and time is their endurance right so uh, that's a really good thing. I've also got one nurse in each station here with one resting. I think that's a really good thing. And I can pop her in and out depending on what we need at the time. So right now, for example, I think an extra person rehabilitation would be an okay thing. Uh, but honestly, it's, you know, they're already 88% here. And if, uh, I think they're, I think it's 88%. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's 88%, uh, with two nurses in there. Cause it was already telling me two nurses. So that clears a bunch of patients to be curing them out of there. And I like that. So we're going to have you go ahead and rest for a bit. And uh, these guys are going to be in good shape too. So uh, the next thing is we need to start looking at, you know, let's getting food rations. Uh, and I think I would, again, rather invest in producing them myself as opposed to buying them. So if I can go to improvements and production, I believe there is a water mill. The water mill unlocks ration production and uh we can make plus two production uh, to, uh plus two to production stations so uh, i definitely think we need to have that and one of my pharmacy people can go over and start working on that i think would be fine of course i'm still at 34 i would like to not get caught off guard with that so like while i am investing in being able to make more i think it still is some merit in purchasing some just to kind of catch us up a little bit so i'm gonna grab 15 uh, I don't know about the trauma medical supplies, but if they give me another event that wants me to send them some, might be a good idea to have them to send. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Uh, and we'll order just some supplies with these extra drafts that we have. Just in case they give me another event, because getting more staff is so valuable yeah, compared to the construction site. compared to the drafts. And so now we're going to see that basically everybody's going to be rehabilitated and those nurses will have almost nothing to do. So yeah, we can... Okay. Go ahead and I think take, uh, is it done? They're done. All right. So we can go ahead and just pull you out of there. I'm going to get you resting. I'm going to have you go here. So we don't need anybody in the rehab center. Well, we just had a successful surgery. Well, patient died during the, during the operation. That was a really easy operation. Whoa. Maybe his status turned before we got to him or something. Because that was supposed to be a really easy operation. That's unfortunate. All right. Now, this person here, uh, they're a really high rank here. They could make us really strong up there. But I like those. I like that instead. Um, and I think then we'll send you over here instead. And then we'll pop you guys in the CCS when you're done with your rest. That is unfortunate. That was like a two-star kind of surgery crazy all right so let's swap out cemetery teams again and then for nurses since you're rested up we'll pop you in ccs yeah, medics are on the way. i will say there's a lot of micromanaging in yeah, the game the like room. moving people around it, it seems like there's a lot of that but we're going to get improvements later that allow us to do shifts and then we can provide that mechanism we can we have enough people to where we can start doing like you know eight hour shifts for everybody and then they'll rotate and get their rest and we won't have to do as much micromanaging of that but 
when you're limited on people, you can't do that. There's just not enough people to do that. So, um, we have to, we have to get to that point first. So we're currently produ producing two buildings and this one takes a lot of time to make. Might be a good idea to, yeah, he's resting right now. Anyway, he's, he's like, I can't do this dude. Um, we have 32. I just bought rations. Let's, let's actually pop another engineer over there so we can get that building done faster since the train is going to bring us the resources anyway. And then we can get these things done faster. Now with that out of the way, we have uh, an engineering resting, but we now have, or at least we should have a way to produce. I thought anyway, right here. So the engineering depot, we now have this area here to produce the, uh, the rations, right? And so uh, I'll be able to have my engineers doing that later. Yep. And we're still, you know, honestly, we're using a lot of them. We're down to 82 and we're going to use another 13 of them in about six minutes. So that seems to be something I should probably put forward uh, as, as an important thing. Uh, they're both stable. One uses more energy than the other. One uses more supplies than the other. But they're both pretty stable and our doctor is well rested up here so we can we can handle it with one of each here on this would be fine uh we'll have you rest after this guy though so that's good and then uh, we have an operation emergency to deal with here and we don't have amputation tools so we can't choose this option so we're left with only one option and that is uh <laughs> not gonna happen man Patient has signs of molten foreign material in his burns. It is probably the remains of his equipment or gas mask that melted into his skin. We will need to remove the foreign material carefully. Uh, or I could just simply amputate. But there's a high, very high chance that this guy dies now. That's unfortunate. We might need a morale bump. We might need to move people over for a morale bump here in a second because we're down to 44%. Uh, but again, the other thing we can do to, to help with that in the improvements tab is maybe just making meals that get, that grant morale. So we could do stew brewing pots and it unlocks nutritious rations and then nutritious, nutritious rations can provide morale over time. So that's interesting, but nutritious, uh, nutritious pots, sorry, nutritious, uh, rations, they require alcohol, I believe. Um, so I gotta have to have a distillery running to keep up that supply as well. And that's, uh, it's going to take a bit. So it's pop. I probably, what I should do is instead of getting a lot of drafts all the time, I probably should start releasing people so that we can get that morale bump and I'm going to need it. So this guy's going to go from release so that I can bump that morale up a little bit more Sir, medics are on the when he's done, uh, for nurses, let's, let's double that in right now. Uh, no, we probably shouldn't. Let's give you a rest. That's the reason why we have those nurses. Let's let's stay disciplined. We have those extra nurses for a reason. Let's, let's make sure we're doing it. So we're going to get that. Unless we get, unless we get lucky, you know, like maybe we'll get lucky and the guy will live anyway, but it's unlikely though. I mean, we got unlucky. It was a one star surgery and he died. So, I mean, we can get unlucky too. With seven drafts. Sir, we have received a dispatch concerning one of the patients who was brought in on the last train. Oh? Uh, what's that about? Concerning one of the patients brought in on the last train. Uh-oh. The patients Sir, come in on trains too? I didn't know patients were going to be brought in on a train as well. <laughs> this doctor is exhausted now. Wonderful. So this is a VIP. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> uh, crap. <laughs> the VIP should be done. Six hours. You should be doing it right now. Um, Crap. How did I let my doctor get exhausted? I don't recall. 
I think it's because of the, the random event, right? It made the surgery longer than scheduled. I think that's why that happened. We're going to have a problem here. <laughs> uh, I would like to get, I think, maybe an improvement to housing here so I can have more surgeons. Uh, is there any way I can get more surgeons? More nurses. Yeah, healing. Uh, surgery award enhancement. So plus one surgeons. I like this. We should really look to improve this. Yeah. Because if we are successful in this surgery with this VIP, we might get the staff points needed to get another surgeon. And so I want to be able to have the capacity to do that. Um, so let's have somebody building that if possible. And then uh, we'll put a break on... Put the brakes on this one so that you can rest. We got one building the surgery here, one on this engineering depot, which I think we need to we need to put a stop on. I mean, you can you can pick it up and come back later, right? You don't have to do it right away. So you gotta yeah, you gotta keep people rested. It's it's kind of like the whole game is managing people, which I suppose that's kind of what a hosp managing a hospital is is managing personnel. So I mean, that makes sense. Let's swap so, the nurses out, keep them healthy, away. keep them really good. Uh, I think I probably should have both nurses in here right now. There's a lot of stuff happening here. And there's a lot of stability that's needed for this, I think. And uh, the VIP is getting operated around right now. I think temporarily it is... And this is the reason why I keep the nurses healthy. So that I can situationally put them exactly where they're needed. Um, if I put this nurse here, we have a plus 35% to operation effectiveness. Significantly more likely to be successful with that VIP. I'm going to I'm going to do that right now. Sir, medics reach the casualty clearing station. All right. And then I think like engineers need to start working on rations pretty Sir, soon here too. Which I mean We're able to make half a ration per hour? Oh lord. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that is not a lot. Uh let's order a few. I think we order some. Let's get Thankfully, they come in at pretty high volumes for the number of uh, for the number of drafts that you have. So, like you can you can get them pretty cheaply at least. Uh, we'll go in and get a whole bunch of them because I'm probably not going to make very many right now. Yeah, so we'll we'll take this order for now. Sir, engineers reach the engineering depot. Uh huh. Sir, operation was successful. Okay, the VIP's operation appears to be success. Nope, not nope, that wasn't the VIP. So this guy's got to rest for nine freaking hours because he's exhausted. This one will be exhausted after after this surgery. So we're going to have no no surgeons. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. This is going to be this is going to be an awful lot here uh, for you. Let's send you. You know, that might tip the scales in the next fight. I kind of want the draft, though. I need the morale, honestly. I, I think I'm just going to release you so we can get that morale. Because that, that's absolutely going to take down here. So, Especially if I don't get the rations built or rations made in time. I, I want this morale to be a lot higher. I need it to be, like, up here. Yeah, yeah. If you ever falls to zero, the HQ will yeah. relieve you of command, yeah. causing the game over. Six more patients? Is that what it just said? Oh, my goodness. Do you see what I'm saying? We really need more doctors. <laughs> oh my god. And like this is this is going to be horrible. I think this is the beginning of the end. Let's take a look at our our nurses. We need to keep them stable, right? As long as possible. Yeah. Extra person in CCS. Let's swap you out, put you here. Engineers. Uh Surgery award enhancement. Yeah, yeah, I need that. Let's let's Sir, double up on that. On the way. And then, Sir, I want to know what this clock is. There's an eight on this clock. I I don't know what that is. Like, uh, it doesn't have anything on mouse over or anything. Sir, operation was successful. Is it the? It's not the operation time. Right. We have two patients that are now in serious condition. I can't. I, I can't. I have to I have to ditch him. I have no doctors. So yeah, anyone who's in serious condition, I'm sorry I have to deny you. I wish I wish I didn't have to, but 
I, I don't have the medical staff necessary to actually operate on you. And if I, uh, if I try, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll fail. I need the amputation tools. I think the amputation tools would be a good idea here for that. The, what we had before. Um, let's put you over here to sign there. I, I'd like to have more, another engineer too. And now we have no military drafts at all. So things are looking dire in our medical camp. Let me tell you, things are not looking great. Uh, they are, they are in, we're in serious trouble here. Uh, let's swap out. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Does it? What benefit does it do for me to place these medical teams in here? I don't see any, I don't see any benefits to that. You know? I'd like to have the advanced dressing station would be a really good thing to have. Because the the they could like do things to help stabilize the patient before they get over here and then they would last a lot longer, right? Like that probably is something I should invest in here. This, Bradley says he can't feel his legs now, but I just looked at you and you were fine. See, you're fine. You're not, you're not tired at all, but here, I'll swap you out. There you go. You going to complain? That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, we should get the amputation tools just in case we get another event like that. We should have a more positive outcome. All right, again, I don't know what these timers are. The only thing I think of is like, this is the amount of time until somebody dies. <laughs> Let's see. Amputation tools, construction. Oh, those are my construction projects. Why is it red? I guess it's because of the category, right? I always thought they would be blue. Might have been. Yeah, I think it's just because of the blue. Uh, let's get some more. Let's get some more uh, drafts. We're going to need them. And then uh, I want to. Yeah, you are resting for another. I need you to rest. You're already resting anyway. So, I mean, that's. I didn't change your status at all. Uh, now that I've reassigned you, you're going to work and be exhausted. So go rest anyway. Um, yeah, I still want the surgery yeah, ward enhancement. And then these doctors are resting, but they're they're okay now, I think. I think they're in okay shape. Let's get you working on this guy right now. And these guys are all lower rank, so we'll wait till we're rested. We'll wait till we're rested just a little bit there. And we'll get that doctor to start operating on this guy, at least. Um, let that, let's let that doctor uh, heal up as full as, as full as he can. We'll swap you out. To give you the rest. The yep, yep, yep. And then we don't have any drafts anyway, so there's no point Set. in looking Nurse for for staff. Set. New arrived. He died. <laughs> oh, that was being denied admission, though. He he died after being denied. Oh my gosh, more people. They just keep coming, don't they? Yes, they do. Uh, after you're done resting, you can take this guy, and then uh, you're gonna rest. You are considered rested, but you're going to rest after this surgery. And then is this, is my VIP in here? Isn't my VIP in here? This is the VIP right here. So what do I have to do with him? Do I have to send him back to any, any particular? It says I'm writing to you with a personal request to give extra attention to the case of Lieutenant uh, De La Puergo. I guess if that's how you say his name. Uh, I would be much obliged if he was to be operated on and sent for rehabilitation as quickly as possible. I am known to repay the kindness or hostil uh, or hostility showed towards me. I am a man with certain influences. I hold some power over when the hospital would gain additional resources and staff members. Okay. Sure. Sure you do. We'll give this we'll put this guy release from duty, maybe. Can't direct the VIP there. Oh, okay. So he's just he's just gonna stay or what? I can't, is it, is it too late? I think once you choose their destination, you can't change it. I think that's how that works. Yeah. I think, I think once I placed him in a stack, I can't, I can't alter it. Well, it's fine. He's going to get rehabilitated. So it's fine. It's this so, guy here. Patient is cured. Yes, he is. All right. All right. We have resting let's uh you only have 56 hours left in your rest let's get him while he's still in good shape and then uh 
This one takes pretty little energy, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then you can rest after him. Let's have you rest after a couple of these guys. Yeah, they take less energy. And then after this guy's rest, we'll do there and that guy. Yeah, don't All right. Starting a new ship. Shuffling people around, man. Let me see what we got going for our engineers. Uh, we'll swap you so you can get a rest. Medical teams, swap the cemetery team so they can get a rest. Uh, we'll actually just do, yeah, we'll do this instead. Uh, engineers, let's pop you over there. Give you a rest and uh, I need rations. Mm, no, I need medical supplies. Yep. On the way. Do, the, Sir, do the supplies instead. All right. All right. It appears the patient suffers from pneumonia. I would like to administer treatment for it as well, but it would require additional supplies. Uh, longer rehabilitation. Uh, 12 additional hours of rehabilitation? Like, the thing I'm worried about is we actually have a limit on how many people can be rehabilitated at a time. And I'm worried we're going to start getting more and more people and that, like, stuff like this may not matter right now. And an extra two supplies doesn't seem like it's that much. But later on, I think this is going to be a problem. Because we're going to be limited on how many people can be re rehabilitated at a time. Right now, no big deal, though. So, I'm going to do it. Sir, medics reach the cemetery. Because we're at two out of ten, right? But we're going to eventually, I think we're going to get ten people in here. And it's going to be like, well, we would have been able to rehabilitate that guy if... You know all right surgery award is reconstructed that's good let's go ahead and get the engineering department rocking and rolling and get back on the pharmacy as well uh and then for the nurses let's swap you out here we go very good and doctors you're looking mighty fine aren't you there are also hotkeys which i've been trying to use a little bit oh boy Major Wells, thank you for saving my life, sir. I hope my father will reward you for your trouble. Understood. Nothing changes. Sir, a dispatch <laughs> from HQ. A dispatch? Major Wells, I am pleased that you agreed to my request. As a token of gratitude, I assigned additional resources to your facilities. We gain one point and four drafts. Okay, one point. I'll take it. Sir. If that's what I can do, if it's what I got, it's what I got. I want an extra surgeon. I can't afford an extra. Those are five. Oh, uh, I want an extra surgeon so bad. <laughs> uh, is it better to get a nurse right now? Maybe. I mean, if I can't have an extra surgeon, I could at least get like higher chances of success from the surgeons I do have. Right? Faster rehabilitation times, all that. Or I save the points for the surgeon. I think I save the points for the surgeon. Yeah, I'm going to save them. And then I want some additional supplies as well. Yeah. All right. We're going to grab some supplies, but I'm going to save the points for the surgeon. It might be a bad idea, but I feel like my flow on, on the nurses right now are okay. It's not great. I mean, I'd love to have all these slots filled, but... Gosh, man, like 35% is a pretty big bump, you know? on that effectiveness. Look at it, 82% versus zero. Yeah, I mean, that's huge actually, right? Being able to rehabilitate much faster like that. Oh, I'm gonna do it, aren't I? I think I'm gonna do it. I wasn't going to, but I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab another nurse. Yep, I'm gonna do it. All right, we're gonna get one more nurse and uh, we can pop them in the rehabilitation center. Can prop them in the, in the operating ward, right? Higher chances of success is what we need here. Higher chances of success on the, the surgeons we do have. If we can somehow make that smoother, that'd be great. Um, engineers, let's get this done. Can we get this? Um, where is it? Advanced casualty right here. Advanced, advanced dressing station. Can we get this done? Let's pop you over here. I think. Uh, I think we're going to need to get that advanced dressing station sorted out here too pretty quick. We're about to go to the battlefield here and we're going to have two battles back to back. 
So I need to properly equip this to these trenches too, because Oh boy. An artillery strike so close to the hospital. Those bastards are violating the Geneva Convention. I mean, the cannons are not aiming at the hospital, but at our trench lines, Major. Our German howitzers, hence the missiles seem to fall close to us. The recent bombardment got me thinking. We need a specialized unit to gather information about events outside the hospital. Ah, we scouts. cannot only rely on the pieces of information from HQ. I received yeah, scouts. permission from headquarters to commission a scouting unit, but it was conditional. The scouts are to be under your command, not mine. Oh, okay. I understand, Lieutenant Colonel. I see you're not happy with that. <laughs> of course not. No, but I know better than to argue with HQ. They will send someone to lead the unit as soon as you prepare lodging for them and request their arrival. Sure. Yeah, we'll we'll work on that. Um, okay. Still working on the engineering depot. Um, I think I I can hammer this really hard with all three of you right now and finish that. And then uh, we'll swap you out for the new nurse. And I also think, no, I think this is good. I want that additional effectiveness. But what does this get me? 48%, okay. I, I wanna see, yeah, we'll, we're gonna do it like this for you guys. And then the medical teams need to be swapped out too. Uh, and we're gonna send a medical team to the advanced dressing station as well. Very good. Thank you for your work and help, Lieutenant Colonel. All right, Major, making a reconnaissance. Uh, should provide more information about events near the hospital and could provide us with places for gaining additional resources. I strongly advise building a scout tent and requesting a scout team from ASQ. All right, so a scout tent. A scout tent. Uh, probably in scouting, yep. Scout tent is here. It's going to cost... It doesn't cost any drafts. It just costs the time, which, of course, means it's costing me my engineers. Uh, we will cancel that for now. Uh, Sir, once we get, the once we get my engineering depot upgraded, I'll be able to do Sir, all these things the much faster. Station. And I think that's going to be more worth my time. So we're going to, this is at 71% now. And in just that short amount of time right there, it's a 72%. So I can, I guess I can see it here. Sir, yeah. Dr. Alan Barbeau, uh, waits a new assignments. Okay, hang on. So let's put, uh, da, 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 da. let's get, yeah, I'm so light on staff, man. How are we doing with this stuff? I'm at 35 medical supplies right now. Oh boy. All right, so this guy's serious. And I think I want to get that. He's going to take seven supplies, but he's a high ranking person. He's considered in serious condition and I think we can get him. Uh, so we're going to place you here. We're going to rest after that. Sir, All right, there's an event. So this is raising spirits, sir. I just had a word with the quartermaster and it looks like we're stocked up on plenty of alcohol. I thought we could give out some to our staff here in the hospital or share some with the soldiers on the front. I'm sure that would boost morale. Your call. All right. So if I do it amongst the staff, I lose six alcohol and morale goes up, but it doesn't tell me by how much. If I distribute it amongst the soldiers, I lose six alcohol still. Morale goes up and I get plus 10 combat power until the next battle. I guess that's fine. Um... I think we're fine on the combat power, but it doesn't, I don't know whether the morale goes up less, you know, like does the morale increase decrease with this extra benefit? I'm not sure, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I'm going to share it with the soldiers too. All right. So we're at 47% morale now. That's fine. And then we've started operating on this guy who is considered now in good condition, not serious. So that's great. And then you see this, right? We're starting to get full up on these things. We're going to we're gonna start having this. So I'm going to send you to give me the drafts. You can give me the drafts. There's not a whole lot of... See how they're red? I think when they're full and red like this, we're not going to get a whole lot for them. 
like this is their rank but they're also not very good for combat i think that's what that is um if i send you to the trenches does that get me to blue it does get me to blue there okay we'll do that sir patient is cured all right sir, good new patient arrived i want to be strong be very strong uh do we want to order any additional resources i think let's keep up on surgical supplies a little bit we'll order just we'll do like a small order here because our engineers have been busy doing other things like getting the depot enhancement and they're going to be very tired after this too but i really want that done so we've just received a request from hq several bodies have been found nearby likely hit by an artillery strike hq asks us to provide them with a burial if we do so they'll grant staff permits well of course we will send a medical team to the bodies They'll be unavailable for 12 hours and we'll gain two staff points. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, go. Do the thing. I need to pull I need to pull a couple of you guys out of here. You guys are going to rest anyway, so uh, it, it needs to happen. <laughs> I, just, I don't have enough of you. Um, and then this medical team is unavailable. Let's pull you out of here. We'll have you guys rest. And for nurses, we'll swap you out give you a rest and then we'll Sir, visit CCS in a second after that all right uh let's see we're getting operating on these two guys right now they look like they're in okay position uh condition we'll have you tackled right after this rest since you're stable right now that's that's good um we'll have you done after this followed by another rest I think I'd really like to get another surgeon I just, I don't know if it, I don't know if getting that extra nurse was worth it. You know, I feel like it's, I feel like it is. Like, I feel like that extra nurse was worth it, but I don't know that that extra nurse was worth it. Um, and then like, yeah, cause the operation effectiveness, right? We want that plus 35%. I think that's a big deal. All right. So we have two wounded here and three wounded in the trenches. Uh, gosh, I need them to go back there. Don't I? Yeah. They got rest though. They'll be Sir, fine. Medics are on the way. They're going to get up there and help them out. Sir, the ADS is understaffed. They need more medical teams to transport the wounded. We've got it. Don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Taking care of it. Engineering Depot is 86%, but we can have you rest. Let's have you do this. Let's have you give me more medical supplies. So we'll have one engineer now trying to finish that off. All right. Got a, an event here in the operating warp. Uh, it says it seems the infection was not serious and we have a high hopes for the patient's recovery unfortunately his body shows signs of dehydration and emaciation uh i would recommend i would like to recommend prolonging his recovery so morale will rise it'll take an extra 13 hours ish to recover but i need that morale going up so okay so now I'm stretched really thin with my medical staff, actually, because we're using that ADS now. And I've, I've got the operating ward, like, you know, we're trying to hammer this right now, but I need to give these nurses a rest. So uh, <laughs> this, this is happening right now. Uh, so let's give two nurses a rest. We'll go like this. Uh, and then the engineers, I want to start developing some additional uh, improvements here. And I'm looking at, I think, scouting, right? We want to get that scout tent done. So we're going to have the engineering do that. Uh, we'll start that up in addition to having the uh, the two people on the pharmacy. I don't have any more staff points. All right, I have more engineers too. Man, it's like I want all these things. I just can't have any of them. Now, all these improvements that we make now, though, it happens much faster because of that improvement. So every improvement we make from this point on, it's not going to take as much of my engineer's time. I think that's a great thing. We have three patients up here in the advanced dressing station that are wounded. Sir, new patient trying to bring them down here as fast as possible. And we just had somebody die. So I need to juggle my medic teams again. And get make sure somebody's in the cemetery. And ADS is not going to have anybody. Now I need more medical teams. Gosh, Sir, man. Like this game way. has a way of making you like you just you need I need everything like it, it really gives you that sense of uh depravity like you are being deprived of all the tools that you need in order to be successful 
and you just have to you know make do and rush it and that's that's what it seems to be it's 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 really nice i like the way they're doing it we're gonna we're gonna bring you here and then i'm gonna bring this guy back over uh he's stable but it's a fast surgery it doesn't take a whole lot of effort and he's a high ranking person so we're gonna get that we're gonna have a rest after that and then right after your rest you'll hit this you'll get this guy um you're tired you're gonna rest here this guy's in serious condition though if we choose to do this guy right after this operation we may not lose him but you definitely have to rest after that and so since you're resting after that we'll get these two after that all right i have no idea if any of these guys will live <laughs> it's a big toss-up man i would love those staff points I think a new doctor is the next thing I get. I mean, honestly, I should be getting new medical teams because you get more and Sir, more people. May I inform you that I left a personal recommendation note with one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty clearing station? Uh, you Sir, left a note with one of the patients that were brought here. Okay, is this guy? Uh, can I? What is this that you're? The, the worse the wound, the faster the patient's state will deteriorate. I know, but it's blue instead of... Oh, this is the trauma kit things. Oh, I see. So we're using a different resource for these guys. Oh, damn it. I really need another surgeon. <laughs> oh, I really need another surgeon. This is, this is horrible. And this is a VIP too. Oh, no. Okay. Um, tell you what we got to do then. Uh, I want to put you Mr. VIP. I'm going to put you here. Is this is the, no, this is the VIP. I want to put you here. Yeah. VIP goes here. Then we rest. <laughs> oh boy. This is not good. I can feel... I can feel a problem. It's it's gonna be a problem. Uh uh how do we how do we combat this problem? Uh get another surgeon. <laughs> That's how I combat this problem. I'm uh, working on building that scout tent right now though. So at least that's a task that I've been tasked with. Uh, that's something I've been tasked with. Maybe they'll give me some staff points if I do that. You'd think they'd give me staff points so that I could hire you know more scouts or whatever, right? Uh I have two staff points now, but I want five. I want to have five, man. I need that so bad. Um, let's put you here. That makes us really strong. And then we'll put you here. Okay. New event. It seems that fortunately the bullet stopped on the bone without doing much damage to the body. We were able to remove it quickly and finish the operation faster than expected. Beautiful. That means that you will not be as tired going into your next surgeries Sir, we lost this patient. how how he said he's gonna recover but you said he was gonna recover i don't know if it's the right i don't know if that's that guy but yeah uh special operation what is this negative 50 percent special operation what does that mean exhausted gosh man he's gonna take such a long time so negative 50% time. And so I do, do I get to like choose which one I do this with? Cause. Oh shit. No, not amputate. <laughs> what? <laughs> amputate. Oh, I get it. I can just choose to amputate. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally understand. Um, yeah, you, we, am uh, you're already on the operating table. Uh, so I can choose when to do this. I see. Should we amputate the VIP? It's a relatively simple surgery. <laughs> it's such an impersonal des decision, you know? It's like, oh, this faceless person that I've never seen before. We should totally amputate. Yeah. Uh, gonna need more medical supplies. I can't keep up. So we're gonna go ahead and grab another 10, I guess, from here. Those drafts, man. They just... Everything. It's costing me everything. Scout tent, 83%. Let's check in on staff. We probably have really tired people now. Yeah. So let's get that going. Let's get you there. Uh, engineers, how are we doing here? Let's have you give you a rest, pop you over here. Oh boy. 
Nurses are on the way. Yep, shuffle some staff around. He's getting a, an eight-hour rest. His patients are still good and stable, though. I, this is this is okay, I think. It'll have put you at the end, and then we'll have a rest there. At that point. Sir, nurses reached the hospital. Uh huh. These were really strong Sir, in the battlefield. Now we can focus all of our rehabilitations can go towards, you know, points now. Yep, they can all go towards more drafts. Okay, well, I think I've spent enough time on this video. We are stretched real thin, aren't we? Uh-huh. Medical teams stretched real thin as well. It's uh, it's beginning to look a lot like wartime. Uh, let's get rehabilitations to be 80% faster right now because that'd be great. We're at four. We can get these guys out of here quicker. I think that'd be good. Reach the casualty clearing station. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. Sir. All right, let's give you a rest. Pop you in here to make our yeah, operations more effective. And that's what we really need is operating. So we're getting the operation on the VIP right now. And then we get the rest. These guys are still in good condition. Still stable condition. This guy's in serious condition, though. So... He's gone. We, we, don't, we can't wait till after that rest. So... I'm going to shift you to the front of this guy's schedule, bring you down to here. And then I'm going to shift this rest after this. That way we can get this guy running right now. Sir, doctor is starting a new shift. He's not very well rested, but the guy's in serious condition. Sir, He's a high ranking person. We, should, we need to do that. Yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> I think you're going to, I didn't realize that you're stable, but you're probably not going to be stable very long with, the, the way your condition is, I'm just going to... I can't. I have too many people on the table. I'm going to deny you. All right. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Wow. This this game is uh, it's getting intense. All right. I feel, I feel like it's really getting intense. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye.